In this video, we will show you how to tune a phase advance angle semi-automatically. The semi-auto tuning allows you to tune the optimal phase advance angle manually. If you want to recheck the auto tuning result, or tune the phase advance angle in finer steps, the semi-auto tuning is the one to do. This time, we'll perform the semi-auto tuning to check the auto tuning result again. From the auto tuning we've already done, we found that the optimal phase advance angle at 800 rpm was 15 degrees. In this semi auto tuning, we'll manually set the phase advance angles to 8 degrees, 12 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, and 27 degrees for a rotation speed of 800 rpm. And among these angles, the one at which the smallest feedback current flows through is the optimal phase advance angle. To conclude, we'll compare what we found with the auto tuning result. First, we will show you how to connect devices. The semi auto tuning requires a logic power supply, in addition to the devices used for auto tuning. Connect the logic power supply to the demo board that the devices used for auto tuning are already connected. Be sure to follow these precautions and connect the logic power supply to the demo board. Connect the logic power supply between the VSP and ground pins. Now you're all set. Let's move on to setting the GUI. We'll make a couple of changes to the GUI settings for auto tuning. Select semi auto. Set the horizontal axis of the graph. This time, select motor speed. For the phase advance characteristics, select which formula to be displayed on the graph. This time, select LA equals AX plus B. By entering 0 in the coefficient A box, the value entered in the coefficient B box is set as a phase advance angle. For example, to set the phase advance angle to 15 degrees, enter 15 in the coefficient B box. When you changed either value in the coefficient A box or coefficient B box, click Calculate. That's all for preparation. Now, let's start semi-auto tuning. Click Run. Turn on the AC power supply. Apply a voltage based on actual operating conditions. Turn on the logic power supply. The motor starts rotating. First, set the phase advance angle to 12 degrees. Click Calculate. Adjust the VSP voltage with the logic power supply, so that the rotation speed becomes 800 rpm. Also, record the value of the feedback current at this point. Next, set the phase advance angle to 8 degrees. Click Calculate. Again, adjust the rotation speed to 800 rpm and record the value of the feedback current. Set the phase advance angle to 15 degrees. Click Calculate. Adjust the rotation speed to 800 rpm and record the value of the feedback current. Set the phase advance angle to 20 degrees. Click Calculate. Adjust the rotation speed to 800 rpm and record the value of the feedback current. Lastly, set the phase advance angle to 27 degrees. Click Calculate. Adjust the rotation speed to 800 rpm and record the value of the feedback current.
We have now finished recording the feedback current values at all the phase advance angles. Turn off the logic power supply. Turn off the AC power supply. Click stop. That's all for the semi-auto tuning. In conclusion, we'll explain the measurement result of our semi-auto tuning. The table shows all the feedback currents that flowed at the phase advance angles we set for a rotation speed of 800 rpm. You can see that 15 degrees is the optimal phase advance angle. This value also agrees with our auto tuning, which resulted in the optimal phase advance angle of 15 degrees. As we have demonstrated here, you can check your auto tuning result by tuning likewise at other rotation speeds. Thank you for watching. We hope this video will help you.